Hello and welcome, my name is Jonathan Ringer and I'm here to cover how to make patches with the Nix packages. So patching is a really important part of Nix packages. This is mostly because in a lot of cases, uh, certain packages will make assumptions about your system environment as well as a few other cases, such as like Python packages shelling out to certain paths. Um, where we don't really have many options besides patching the source code to then be a Nix compatible. Um, and so then in today's example, what I will be doing is that I will be regenerating a Python 3 patch, uh, which uh, changed in between um, these dev versions. And um, but the, the process is the same. So you can take this and you can do any other type of derivation and should be able to follow these steps to generate a new patch or tinker around and find out the right patch to make. So uh, here, I'm just going to try and bump this 3.10 to the next development version. So I'm gonna find where this is located, which will be in uh, interpreters, uh, Python default. Uh, I'm going to find the previous one, which is on 125. So here's A1. A2 was released uh, recently at time of recording. And then I'm going to save. Um, what I'm going to do next is then uh, open up a new window and try to build that. So. It should complain that, hey, I pulled this down and I have a different SHA, which it did. So I'll replace the SHA, try to build again. Okay, and now this is where my issue lies, is that uh, upstream between these two development versions, uh, they changed some of the files that this is applying to. So specifically here, this failed on this file, um, this util.py. And so then what I will be doing is just regenerating the, script, uh, the patch to then include those changes. So let's begin. Uh, do this. So let's uh, do our next shell command. If you followed my previous tutorial on next shell, the intermediate usage one, I also use this paradigm, but uh, you can say, hey, Nick Shell, please look at the default.nix for information. And then on this file, when you evaluate it, please then give me the attribute, which is called Python 310. And what this will do is that this will uh, bump me down into a Nick Shell, which is meant to build Python 310. So if we look at uh, some of the stuff that got introduced into my environment, you can see that the Nix build variables are there, um, as well as a few other things. So like CC is defined, so on and so forth. Okay, but how do we then generate that patch? Well, we can start going through the steps of building the package ourselves. So we can do unpack phase. Once we unpack it, uh, there will be a directory. So Python 3.10 here is now located at the top level. And then I can CD into that. Uh, to do this generically, uh, we can just do what Nix does, which is CD into the source root. Um, the fetcher for Python will kind of determine this. So anyway. Uh, we can go into the source root. Here in the source root, uh, we have kind of a checkout of that directory. So we can use git. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to uh, git init this directory and then git add everything at the, the current scope. And we could just uh, bundle everything. So uh, here we'll just do git commit uh, initial, but this doesn't matter. We just want to define a certain point in time. And then we can then use git to track all the changes that we applied and produce our diff. So uh, now that we are in a relatively clean slate, so here uh, I just did git status. Uh, we are in a clean working tree, which is what we want. And now if we try to do the unpack phase, oh, sorry. Not the unpack phase. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Uh, well, we're, we're in a get tree, so we could just undo that. So now we're back at the clean. Um, instead of doing unpack phase, which we have already done, what I meant to do is we could do the patch phase. And you can see that this is where our problems lie. So that we have uh, the reject of the util.py. Uh, 
and um, we want to regenerate that. So if I go back to my clean sleep uh, here, I believe I could do, I should be able to do uh, prune or something. Anyway, uh, we'll just delete these two. So uh, what we want to do, uh, if we looked at the previous patches, uh, we can find them in interp interpreters, Python, uh, C Python 3.10, no LD config. So this is what failed uh, the diff to util.py. Specifically what happened is that this function changed a bit. Um, so the context for this patch is that uh, Python will try to do some interaction with ldconfig. Problem though, mixed packages, we don't have ldconfig for linking. Um, it's unpeer, generally references uh, file hierarchical uh, standard locations, and that doesn't exist in Nix. So what we need to do is uh, convert this over to what they changed it from. So we'll go to the same file, which will be lib c types util.py. We'll find the find lib function, which is also uh, which was redone in the patch. So here's where I want to go down to. Uh, you can see here at the bottom of the patch if this uh, platform is CentOS 5. Uh, so we want to go up to that line. We'll delete this. And then we'll say return none. Uh, we'll probably want to keep the white space the same that it was before. There was two lines in between these functions. And then we'll go to the other location where there was a patch, which was the find uh, shared object name. And then here, this had a very similar treatment. Uh, actually, I don't think this changed. So. Sorry, I'm trying to do this by paragraph, but it's not working out as well as I thought. Uh, we will want to get rid of all this and just return none. Um, okay. So now here is where the benefit of using git uh, comes into play, is that our git diff now just generates the diff for us with the correct file locations and the, the line numbers matching. And here, this looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to save this, go to the top level, and then just do um, the, the rename of it. So this was no ldconfig.patch before, so no ldconfig.patch, and we should be done. Um, if we want, we can back out of the shell. Uh, we can copy the file location over, so in my top level directory, there should be, there's no LD uh, config patch. Let's put this over to where the old patch was. So this was in packages, development, interpreters, Python, C Python 3.10. Okay, that looks good. And now if we do build again, we should have the patch apply cleanly, which it did. Patch phase is done, and now it's going into the build step. And the path forward from here is largely unrelated to patching, so I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and hope you found this useful.